All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahshah, by Shem Rakak with us. want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just said, Shalom, to the Akim out here that's doing the push of the work in truth and in sincerity. We're going on this topic of the crowning of the elect by Yahweh Shah. Okay. Um, start off with this scripture. Um, Revelation 7 and 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore are they before the throne of Yahweh by Shemuel Sah, and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sits on on the throne shall dwell with them. Okay? That's talking about Yahweh Shah. Okay? Um, the one with the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Okay? It says, They shall hunger no more, nor thirst any more, neither shall the sunlight on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And God, Yahweh Shemuel Asad, shall wipe away all their tears. Now this is, you know, we're still going to be able to um, enjoy, you know, the land, the food and stuff like that, you know, to actually experience what real food and water tastes like, you know. But when it comes down to this knowledge and you know, actually uh, living life the right way, you know, which is going to be put in us. You know, we're we're not going to have to go through, um, what's the word, um, uh, going out on a highway and hatches anymore. You know, um, you know, getting super deep into the scriptures. You know, having to worry about. Um, uh, you know, if we're men of the Lord or not, okay, this is, uh, Romans 14 and 17, for the kingdom of Yahweh by Shemuel Shah is not meat and drink, you know, going into the heavy parts of the scriptures and, um, you know, uh, you know, just, uh, the hell that we're going through right now, you know, it says, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, okay, so that's what the kingdom of heaven is. Okay? So in the kingdom of heaven, when it says that we're not going to um, hunger no more or thirst, you know, going out on the highway and hedges and worrying, you know, whether we're men of the Lord or anything, you know, it's going to be made known who his real servants are. Okay? Um, and when, when it's made known, okay, this is one of the um, things that is going to take place. It's the second Ezra two and forty five. I mean forty forty two. I Ezra saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number. And they all praised the Lord with songs. Okay, and that number goes into uh Revelation seven and nine. And this I be after this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white white robes and palms in their hands. Okay, and all of these people from all the, the 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 great multitude from all the nations, kindreds, and people and tongues, they are all Israelites. Okay, so. Uh, Ezra said that he could not number those that many people or how many people was up there and then Revelation and it says that those you know no man could number that okay it says uh, and they praised the Lord with songs and in the midst of them there was a young man of of a high stature taller than all the rest okay and that's Yahweh Shah okay 
uh, and Almondra says, young man, okay, <laughs> your spirit lives on, but the Lord is going to put that, um, put that spirit in a, in a younger body, okay, and we're going to be that age, man, okay, it says, um, you know, our bodies will never age, I should say, and upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. And was and was more exalted, which I marveled greatly, marveled that greatly, you know. So when when Yahweh Shah, uh, crown the elect, uh, you know, with these uh, crowns, okay, he's going to get even more more blessing, man. You know, just just imagine, you know, Yahweh Shah, you know, putting that 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 crown on your head. You know, <laughs> you you get to hug them and you know, cause this is this is your uh, hope, man. You know, yeah, how was how was you know uh, saluting you, man? You know, for 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 trusting in them. That that beautiful moment, you can look, you know, at, at other brothers and you know you can see them smiling and you know, cause we don't have to worry about the struggle no more, man. You know. All, all the honor, praise, and, and glory goes to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know. And you know, during this moment, you know, which it's not about us, you know. At this moment, you know, the the Lord is going to put them crowns on us, but but even still, we're going to be, you know, putting putting Yahweh Shah, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know, even even higher, man. You know, and they they already you know as high as it, as it can get. You know, there's no there's no amount of praise. You know, that or, or, or you can never praise y'all by some y'all side enough, man. Okay, never. It's impossible. For 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 all the 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 you know the marvel marvelous things that they did for us, man. You know, you can never praise them enough, man. Okay, it says, uh, so I asked the angel and said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God, which the name of God is the Most High, Yahweh. Okay, and the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shah. Okay, we confess the name Okay, to the world. It says, Now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowns them and gives them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of Yahweh. It is the son of God, whom they have confessed in the world. Okay? So we confess the name of Yahweh. Okay, and, and we, we're confessing, okay, the son of Yahweh, which is Yahweh's side, to the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Okay, stiffly. I want to see what that word says, okay. In a manner that is not relaxed or friendly. In a severe or strong manner, okay, because that the name is an extremely, extremely, extremely important part of this truth, man. Okay, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Okay, uh, this is Acts four and twelve. It says, "Neither is there any sal is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we might be saved." Okay, the, Jesus ain't saving nobody. Jehovah ain't saving nobody. Okay, uh, any other names that you want to say, Buddha, okay, they're not saving anybody. Okay, when 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 it comes down to it, okay, the the the, the word stiffly, okay, meaning it's impossible to bend. Okay, we're not going to bend on that. Okay, we, we know for a fact that the name of the Lord is Yahweh and his son name is Yahweh Shah. Okay, continuing on. 
Romans 8 and 16, the spirit itself bears with bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh by some side. Okay? So if you can't get what you know what I'm saying, then hey, it's not for you. You might not be an Israelite. You gotta look at it from that point, you know. Cause the elect, you might not be of the elect. The elect gonna get it. Okay? It says, and if children, then heirs. And one of the reasons why I say you might not be an Israelite, okay, because the scriptures talk about they are not all Israel that are that are that are of Israel. You know, the ones that are of Israel are the elect, okay, because they understand. It says, and if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh Shmiyosa. Okay, see what this word heir is. Okay. Let's get in in the blue letter. Strong's G twenty eight eighteen, Kleranamas, Kleranamas. Okay, and it says one who receives by lot an heir, an heir in Masonic, Masonic uh, usage. One who receives his allotted possession. By right of sonship, one who has acquired or obtained a portion allotted to him. Okay? And the Lord knows what, what you want. Okay? He knows what you need. You know? And we're, we're going to be able to get those things, man. And righteousness. Okay? You got, you know, if you're a man, you got you got women already set up for you. Okay? Got a, got a chariot. Okay? Waiting. Got the crown, you know. That so far beyond, you know, imagination, man. You know, I can't, I can't put it in, uh, in words. You know, what, what the Lord uh, has, has in store for us. You know, Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect, and you know, whoever is uh, listening to this, is okay. It says, and joint heirs with Yahweh Shah. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be joint heirs, you know, whatever you know Yahweh Shai gets in the kingdom, we we'll be getting. Okay, it says, if so, be that we suffer with him, that we may be glorified, I mean be also glorified together. Okay? And how are we suffering with the Lord? Right now, people don't want to hear the fact that hey, his name ain't Jesus, his name is Yahweh Shai. But you know that's suffering. And then when we when we teach that, you know, people don't want to hear it. So so imagine how, how the Lord feels, you know? Us catching hell, you know, actually believing. It says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. And we're going through this bull crap right now, right? But when that glory comes, man, you know, you know that feeling, man, that, you know, that feeling of happiness, man, you know, <laughs> you just, you, you get a blessing in this world, you know, something might fall through for you, you know what, what, what you may think uh, is happy, right, in this world, when something happens, and you like, oh, man, that's good, man, you know, the water y'all bust me outside, it's gonna be way past that level, man. Way past it. This is Matthew 25 and 21. His Lord said unto him, Well done. When the Lord crowns his elect with them crowns, he's going to say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the of thy Lord. Okay? So, we keep keep going. Luke 22 and 29. And I appoint unto you a kingdom. As my father have appointed unto me. That you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Knowing what it takes to, to get real wine. And sit on thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Hebrews 6 and 17. Wherein Yahweh Basim Yahshua willing more abundantly to sow. Onto the the heirs of promise, the immutability, 
of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath. Okay, so let's see what this word immu immutability says. Okay. Strong's G 276, Ametathetos. Ametathetos. Okay, and it says not transposed, not to be transferred, fixed, unalterable, unchangeable. Okay. See what the word oath stands for. Okay. Strong's G 3727. Harkas. Harkas. And that means that which has been pledged or promised with an oath. Okay. So this promise that the Lord uh, gave us. Okay. The ones who, who keep his word. Okay. If you are part of the elect. That's a guarantee, okay? Lord is bound by that, and he's never going to change, okay? That's his word he gave it, and that's what it shall be. What the scriptures say, okay? I'm going to get that. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where whereto I sent it. Okay, so whoever the Lord uh, sent it to, is, which is the elect, if it's meant for you, you're going to prosper in this word, man. Okay, so moving on. Okay, uh, this is, uh, it says Hebrews 6 and 18. That by two immut immutable things, okay, unchangeable things, in which it was impossible for Yahweh by some Yahweh side to lie, or Yahweh, why Yahweh side to lie, we might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to hold upon the hope set upon before us. Okay, what's one of the refuge? Okay. This is uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Okay, so that's one of the refuge. The fact that we have the name. You know? The fact that we actually have hope. We know what's going on. We're more aware. We're, we're, we have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, it says, Which hope we have is an anchor of the soul. So you you grounded in this truth. You know? It says both sore and steadfast, and which enters into that within the veil. Where whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Yahweh made a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Right? Let me get this. First Peter one if one and uh uh, three. Blessed be Yahweh, or oh, blessed be the power and Father of our Lord Yahweh Shah, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto the lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shah from the dead. So this this is a scripture that shows you, okay, that the the, the Most High, okay, the power and the God and Father of Yahweh. Yahweh Shah, the one of the world, and even calls Jesus is different. Okay? It says, to an inheritance incorruptible and, and, and undefiled that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of Yahweh through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Okay? So, so we are kept Okay, by the power, okay, in this truth to, to, to know this power and to, to, to stand it. Okay, that's take power, man. You know? Because, you know, we always flesh or or, or war, warring uh, uh, against things in this society. You know? There's always something that, you know, in us that, you know, probably has doubts or whatever the case may be. But the fact is that we able to, to stay in this thing because of, you know, the Lord, not because of us, okay? 
It says, wherein you greatly rejoice, though now for a season. Because it's going to be for a little time, man. You know, if need be, you are, heavy, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That through the trial of your faith, being much more precious than, than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah. Whom having not seen, you love. And whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. So so we, you know, even going through this hell and stuff like that, we still able to, to praise the Lord. Okay? Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Okay? So, so... The salvation is one thing. When you actually get saved up out of this this hell, you see Yahweh coming to to redeem his elect. That's gonna be a beautiful feeling, man. You know when you see the when you see brothers up on them chariots. You know you see the smile on their face, and then when brothers are are getting their crown on their head, you know. That's your moment, man. But then that's also the moment for y'all, y'all busting y'all side, man. Cause we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, still be praising, praising the Lord, man. You know. It says, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently. So the prophets back then wanted to know about these things. Why they going through through the stuff that they going through? Why they why they getting these visions and you know things like that? Who prophesied of the grace that should come on to you? Because because the, the the prophets back then, you know, it was it was certain things that you know in the law it, it was hard to, you know. But but the the Lord uh, is showing us mercy. Now, because we keep in his word, we keep in the faith. It says, searching what or what manner of time the spirit of Yahweh, which was in them, did signify when it te testified beforehand the sufferings of Yahweh and the glory that shall follow. So we suffering right now. Okay, we suffering with Yahweh, but in the in the kingdom. We're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna have that glory, man. You know, First uh, Corinthians two and nine. But it is, is it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which Yahweh Shemayosai have prepared for them that love Him. You know what? Uh, what more can I say after that, man? Lord willing, this was edifying, you know, Lord willing, this, you know, brothers, you know, watch this, you know, part of the elect, I want to say, uh, subtle warm, you know, keep on pushing, man, because this is, this is our hope, you know, this is, you know, we know it's going to come, you know, this is a guarantee, man, that we know that, that Yahweh Shah is going to come, it's just about being patient and doing what he say, you know. So with that, you know, I want to say so long.